Just posted a cool photo on my Instagram. If you guys aren't following, make sure to follow at GL Shooting. So you saw the unboxing from the actual, like, the UPS delivery, but you didn't really get to see the holster. In fact, I haven't seen the holster yet. I haven't even taken it out of this box, so I thought I'd bring you guys along. Um, this is not a review. It's not the official review for this at all. As you guys know, I like to wear the holster for a couple weeks before doing that review, so this is me just unboxing the holster and seeing how it works out with the Glock 19. So, let's see it. This is Alien Gears Shape Shift Modular Holster System. Uh, it's brand new. I don't know if it's out to the public yet or not, but we're gonna find out how it works. Pop this open. Um, we've got some, we've got a user manual here, which I'll read after I figure out how to do this. Um, and then I already read to you the letter. Now, this is what the inside looks like. Welcome to the future of concealed carry. Uh, start here, shift to your favorite carry position using the instructional booklet below. Maybe I should read that. Um, in the waistband, appendix, one paddle, one slide. Let's just see what we're working with here, shall we? So, whoa. All right, so this part of the box lifts up, and then, uh, ooh, there's another, uh, Check this out, this is the ninth shape shift to ever ship. I hope you enjoy it. Thomas Tedder, CEO of Alien Gear. Can you, there we go. That's pretty cool, guys. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that's really comfortable feeling. And then we've got a single version of that. Um, so, again, this isn't the review, but this is like, I don't even know what kind of material. It's like a really soft, flexible plastic, maybe? And the back is like a neoprene, really breathable. And inside, we've got all sorts of stuff. So, the paddle, the alien head paddle. All right, guys, I think I need to give up and read the instructions. Let's see what we got. Um, also, in another package, we have an additional shell. I believe this is for a separate gun. I, uh, I mentioned that my secondary carry was a Springfield XDS. Um, I'm not sure if they didn't have one for it or something, but I think they gave me another Glock 19 shell. That's okay. Quick start guide, that's what we want is the quick start guide. Quick start guide, let's see if I can read this through the camera. We have the shell components, we have adjustable retention, hex nuts, some screws, a twist lock, and then it looks like you're gonna use those different pieces depending on how you wanna carry. So we've got if you wanna carry appendix, if you wanna carry over the waistband with a paddle, if you wanna carry in the waistband hard shell, or if you want to carry over the waistband slide. The actual user manual breaks it down into appendix carry holster, over the waistband, over the waistband paddle, holster mount, and then assembly and how to wear each of them. I'm gonna do this one here since I generally like to carry that way anyways. In the waistband holster assembly. It definitely looks like we need this from the picture. Gonna need this full shell definitely. So remove the connector lock from the in the waistband holster. Okay, so I think that's this. Um, this looks like it goes down somehow. Okay, so, okay, so maybe that was just a cover which allows this now to slide on. Attach the shift shell, press the half shift shell onto the connector. Okay, so maybe our issue is that we're, the trigger guard has not been attached yet, so let's go figure out how to do that first. Half shell configuration, untwist, whoa the twist locks from the top and bottom of your shift shell. So there's something at the top and the, okay, what about this? Okay, so these, I think right here. Ow, aha, okay, I don't know where the other one, okay, here's the other one, right here. Okay, now we need to slide these. Uh, the shell does say open and close with a little direction on it. So we wanna open, which is down. Boom, select the shift shell that includes the pre-installed adjustable retention unit. I think they're talking about this here. Slide the trigger guard 
onto this half shell using the two interlocking rails. It's gotta go this direction, right? Yeah, it's gotta go this direction. Okay, so here's this piece. We're gonna go this direction to slide this rail into this opening. Aha, got it. Cool, now we have a little trigger guard on the half shell because this is a full shell. It's all coming together now. So we have the half, prepare in the holster base, remove the connector lock, I remove the connector lock, attach the shift shell, press the half shift shell onto the connector. So there's these two notches here that I'm going to, okay, look at that. Oh, I gotta put this thing back on. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this back over this piece. We need to go up since we removed it going down. Boom, and then it leaves this little notch here for the twist lock. Ah, I got it guys, I got it. Customize your retention. Adjust the retention with the adjustable retention unit by twisting the wheel and the spare lock. Um, which I think is this, so if I, then I can use one of these tips to twist this, is that right? Okay, and it's like moving in notches. Cool. And let's see how this Glock works. So, we have an empty mag. We have a slide lock Glock. Now, I put this in here. Okay. It's locked in there. How much force do I need to pull that? Oh, all of the force. So, we should probably, probably loosen that up a bit. I think that might be an okay starting point once it's in place. So, let's leave it there. Okay, okay, so I like to wear it at about four o'clock. So you can see that. All right, so that's snapped into place. I don't know, I'll have to mess with placement a little bit, but uh, it feels very secure and it is really, really comfortable. Okay, before this turns into a full blown review, I guess I'm gonna stop it there. I clearly need some more time to play with this to figure out how it works and how best to suit it. Um, but now you kind of get an idea of how it works, like it's modularity. So you're sliding, you're basically, you have this full shell, you're sliding this thing off and you can attach this shell, either the full shell or the half shell onto, uh, you know, different paddles. And you can also have different shells for different guns. So it's a cool idea. Um, I'm excited to try this out over the next couple weeks, see how it goes once I get this dialed in. Look out for the main review video coming in these next couple weeks and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.